Park City Opera is where she got her start as a singer. Now, Beverly Sills will be running the place. David? Some hotels now don't like to take payment in cash, preferring credit cards. New ones often don't have lobbies on the first floor right off the street, and visitors may need a road map. And now, outside of Washington, a hotel that is operated almost entirely by computer. Carol Simpson has a report on how it works. Since October, this computer called Jason has been running the world's only completely automated hotel. With the help of programmers who designed him, Jason keeps track of just about everything. We decided to find out how he does it. My reservation was made by telephone, which was immediately fed in to Jason. When I arrived to check in, the desk clerk punched my name into one of Jason's 26 terminals. On a display screen, Jason told her I was assigned to room 302. He also told her to give me the secret combination to the door. You punch the last four numbers in the console on your door, and it unlocks your door. Jason controls the digi-key code to every room. It's part of his security system. No one but the guest and Jason know which numbers will open the door. Okay, one, two, three, seven. <gasps> It works. Once inside the room, I told Jason not to let anyone in. Do he won't. Sure. An hour before I checked into room 302, Jason had turned on the heat. He'll turn it off when I'm gone. That's how he saves energy. Jason also runs the restaurant. As soon as the Jasonette fed my order into Jason, he instantaneously printed it out in the kitchen. He can even report how many people are eating at each table and which course they're on. When it's time for the bill, Jason prints it out. He even tacks on a 15% tip, whether you like it or not. Computer expert Fred Iyer designed Jason to run his new hotel and he's happy with the results. The computerization of things like hotels as well as many, many other uh, facets of industry in the commercial world is definitely the way of the future. The only problem we ran into while we were there was with the salad dressing. Jason ordered the right thing, but a human sent it out frozen. Human error, not computer error. Carol Simpson, NBC News, Rockville, Maryland. From Washington, thank you and good night.